Resistance is useless! Yeah, but, I mean, come on now, look! Ah, oh, stop it, you beast! No, there's music and art and things to tell you about yet. Well, I think I'd better just stick to what I know. Thanks for, thanks for taking an interest. Yes. Ah, I've got a headache. I don't want to go to heaven with a headache. I'd be all cross and wouldn't enjoy it. No, ah. no listen. No. Look, there's a whole world. You know nothing about it. Now, listen. How about this? How about this? Da, 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 da. Doesn't that stir anything in you? No. Oh, oh. Oh, now, I'll tell my aunt what you said. Potentially bright light, I thought. <laughs> We're trapped now, aren't we? Yeah. We're trapped. Well, didn't you think of anything? Yeah. What? Unfortunately, it involved on being the other side of this hatchway. So that's it? We're going to die? Yeah. Except... No. Wait a minute. What's this switch? What? Where? No. I was only fooling. We're gonna die after all. <laughs> you know, it's at times like this when I'm stuck in a Vogon airlock with a man from Beetlejuice about to die of asphyxiation in deep space that I really wish I'd listened to what my mother told me when I was young. Why, what did she tell you? I don't know. I didn't listen. Terrific. <laughs> Counterpoint the surrealism of the underlying metaphor. <laughs> Death's too good for them. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a wholly remarkable book. The introduction starts like this. Space, it says, is big, really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the street to the chemist, but that's just peanuts to space. Listen. And so on. After a while, the style settles down a bit, and it starts telling you things you actually need to know. Like the fact that the fabulously beautiful planet Bethselemin is now so worried about the cumulative erosion caused by over 10 billion visiting tourists a year that any net imbalance between the amount you eat and the amount you excrete whilst on the planet is surgically removed from your body weight when you leave. So, Every time you go to the lavatory there, it is vitally important to get a receipt. In the entry in which it talks about dying of asphyxiation 30 seconds after being thrown out of a spaceship, it goes on to say that what with space being the size it is, the chances of being picked up by another craft within those seconds are 2 to the power of 260,199 to 1 against which, by a staggering coincidence, was also the telephone number of an Islington flat, where Arthur once went to a very good party, where he ate some very good food, had some very good drinks, with some very good friends, and met a very nice girl, whom he totally failed to get off with. Is this kind of boring? 